keeping arms and legs inside the carriages at all times. Spotters Trail. Journey through the winding paths, following the trail as it goes deeper and deeper into the rainforest, in search of signs of the characters Mouse, Fox, Owl, Snake, and of course, the Gruffalo. Bring the characters to life by using the free augmented reality Gruffalo Spotters app. The carriages you're riding on are similar to the trams which carried holiday makers to the coast before local roads were built in 1926. They're being pulled by Morton, one of Queensland's original coal-fired cane locomotives. Morton was first built in Germany by Krauss and brought to Australia in 1905, the first of seven locomotives that would gradually replace horse-drawn carriages carting sugar cane to the Morton Mill right here on the Sunshine Coast. Morton retired after 64 years of faithful service and was replaced by a modern diesel locomotive. After a few years rest, he was lovingly restored and came out of retirement for use here at the Ginger Factory. Celebrating our community of hope, we've suspended hundreds of rainbow umbrellas within the tree canopy, presenting the Ginger Factory's first collaborative art installation, the Rainbrella Project. Ahoy there, shipmates! On your right-hand side, you can see the large green building, which is home to the Overboard Boat Ride. You'll find the entrance to this great adventure at the Red and Yellow Boat. Go aboard with the Gingerbread Man on this fantastic voyage around the world. Will he escape the clutches of the hungry chefs? Find out when you embark on this mirandering water adventure. Unlimited rides on Morton and Overboard are both included in our annual VIP pass. For more information on this great deal, see our friendly staff at the ticket desk inside the Ginger Shop. On your left, you can see the Ginger Factory Live B Show. Shh! Can you hear the buzz in the air? Yeah, we This it. unique experience lets you see right inside a real beehive and learn about one of nature's hardest working creatures. Did you know that bees like to dance? And how many bees does it take to make a jar of honey? Learn this and other fascinating bee facts by joining our next bee show.
the Budrum Ginger Farm. The old farmhouse depicts buildings that were typically found on Queensland farms throughout the last century. Made from a slab timber construction, reflecting the style first built in the area in the early 1900s. It was a building just like this one that five ginger farmers first met to form the original Budrum Ginger Cooperative. Between them, the farmers had 25 pounds, two wooden vats and 14 tonnes of green ginger that was used to process our first range of products. From a small farming community in the pre-World War I days to one of the world's finest ginger producers, Budrum Ginger. Ginger is one of the most enduring primary industries on the Sunshine Coast. Local farms, small and large, provide raw ginger to us each year, which is used to create our vast selection of Budrum Ginger products. Some of these farms are located as close as 15 minutes away. The ginger crop is planted in spring. The ginger grows throughout spring and summer until the first harvest in February. Did you know that ginger is harvested at different times throughout the year? This is because the different stages of growth develops the flavour of the ginger. We use all the phases of ginger's growth cycle to make our extensive range of Budrum ginger products. Early harvest ginger is reserved for our confectionery range, gingerbread men, as well as our Australian sushi ginger. Speaking of gingerbread men, did you know that you can decorate your very own gingerbread man? Visit Ginger Artists to find out how. Middle to late harvest ginger is destined for use in our health and wellness range, along with ginger beer and industrial products. From August to June each year, the ginger factory grows ginger in large pots to be used within our newest guiding experience, our ginger harvest tour. The farming equipment on display has been used in farming the diverse range of crops grown in this area and includes ploughs, pineapple harvesting carts and potato diggers, all of which were horse-drawn. Old potato-style diggers were often modified for use in planting and harvesting ginger. Like potatoes, ginger is a root crop and visible above the ground only for a few short months before it's ready for harvest. Species such as Talawood and Eucalyptus. Bullock teams moved the timber to nearby Maruchi River and paddle steamers carried the large logs through the shallow waters to the wharves for shipping to Brisbane. Timber remained an important industry for the township until the late 1920s. In 1867, the discovery of gold in Gympie brought an influx of travellers to the area. At the start of the gold rush, the trip from Brisbane to Gympie took three days, travelling by boat and horse-drawn coach. The journey now takes less than three hours. Halfway between the established towns of Kabulcha and Gympie, Yandina was meant to be a metropolis, but the town was slow to develop until the railway was opened in 1891. The coming of the railway marks the beginning of Yandina as a business centre, and this central hinterland town is steeped in history and heritage, with many preserved examples of Queensland architecture. The area we're approaching on the left is very busy during the ginger harvest. This is called the intake yard, where hundreds of tonnes of ginger are delivered from our local farmers. Just inside the main entrance is the Ginger Shop, home to Australia's largest selection of Budrum Ginger products. Here you'll be able to buy the world's finest ginger. In keeping with all things ginger, did you know we churn our very own premium gelato on site? Most with ginger, but don't worry, there are a couple of flavours with ours. Visit Ginger Lattes in the Piazza. There are around 1,200 species of ginger worldwide, and of these, only three are edible. The rest are known for the beautiful flowers they produce. The ginger factory sells many of these species, along with a wide range of other plants and flowers throughout the year at the potting shed, the ultimate location for garden lovers, located opposite Morton Station. Sunshine Coast locals and holiday makers.
years, have been enjoying visits to the Ginger Factory since 1944. From curious visitors knocking on the original factory door in Mudrum to being one of Queensland's favourite tourist destinations. Since the 1980s, the Ginger Factory has entertained millions of visitors. That's a lot of visitors, which is why we like to make sure you have fun while you're here. Speaking of fun, bring your little ones and let them play, climb and explore in our new soft play area. Little Explorers is a fun space that will light up your little one's imagination. Filled with soft playground equipment and a ball pit, it's the perfect destination for laughter and exploration. Grab a coffee and relax in our parents' area as you watch your child make the best memories. At the Ginger Factory, we offer birthday party and function packages to suit every occasion. Visit our website to find out more. Ginger Factory. 